Hey there, replay viewer. I so appreciate you. Mad love for you. Thanks for hopping on my video. Drop me a hi in the comments so I can be sure to say hi back to you because it's the polite thing to do and I was raised to be polite. So drop it. Say hi. Hey guys, it is Jody Dunn coming at you live tonight with a tip on how to look younger in about two minutes. It might take me a little longer because, you know, I'm kind of a chatterbox and I'm talking to you and showing you, but I do it in about two minutes every day. It makes a humongous difference. It makes me look younger. It does all kinds of other things, but that's probably... The one thing that I love the most about brows. We're talking about brows. Oh my gosh. My Wi-Fi. I don't know if I lost everybody. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to keep going. I better not do that to me again. It hasn't done that in a while. So we are going to talk about brows tonight because they make you look younger. They make you look younger. They do all kinds of other things as well. And I like to talk about brows at least a couple times a month because, frankly, I'm obsessed with brows. I want to help the entire population of women with their brows because it makes that much of a difference, you guys. So, hey, my Lynn. I'm so happy to see you. I have missed you. Thanks for hopping on. All right. So let's talk about brows. Why do they make you look younger? Well, if you're my age, we lose hair in our brows. It's just a natural thing that happens. Um, or maybe you were a victim of completely over plucking your brows when you were younger and now they just don't grow back. I am not a victim of that. I literally knew nothing about brows when I was younger. The only thing I have said so many times that I have never, ever done anything to my brows until after I turned over 40, which was a lie. I found a picture when I was like 19, and I did used to do something to my brows, and here's what I did. I would go to the drugstore, and I would buy... Um, Gosh, what's it called? Like brow gel or something like that. And I would brush my brow completely sticking up and leave it like that. <laughs> I had no idea how to shape my brows. It wasn't until much, much later in life that I finally started shaping my brows, but I never filled them in. And I don't know. I My brows, they're weird because I have to pluck my brows every day because I get hairs like down here. So I was never a victim of over plucking. I had the crazy, so stylish brow gel. I would comb it through my very, very full, long brow, way fuller than this. The hairs were standing straight up everywhere. I had hair all the way down here. I had no idea what I was doing. So I, that is what I used to do with my brows. But when you get older, we just naturally start losing hair in our brows. Or if you are lucky enough to be a natural blonde, I hate you. No, I'm kidding. I don't hate you. But I pay a lot of money to be blonde. And if you are lucky enough to be a natural blonde, then you have blonde eyebrow hairs that nobody can see. You might even have a whole lot of eyebrow hair, but nobody can see it because it's blonde. So it looks like you don't have eyebrows. So my tail on both sides is very, very thin. I also am thinning down here. You can see the patches, especially on this one. And my brows are a little bit lighter than I wish they were. Part of that is because I've lost hair in my brows. So doing your brows, which literally takes me about two minutes, makes me look younger. It frames my face, it changes the shape of my eyes, and it just does all kinds of magical things. Bold brows, bold brows are in. But I will caution you, and this is just my opinion. <laughs> it's just my opinion, but I'm still going to caution you. Don't do your brows so dark that that's all anybody sees. 
It's not typically a flattering look, at least I don't think it is. We want to be able to see your beautiful face. But do the bold brows if you like the bold brows. Just don't do them so dark. Like, I would never do black. That would be way too dark for me. That would be all you saw on my face. And I don't want the only thing you see on my face to be my brows. I want my brows to accentuate everything to flatter my face, to make it look more lifted, to make me look younger, to frame my eyes. So let's get started. I got my favorite tool. I love this tool. Everybody needs this tool. Hey, Kevin, you're a natural blonde. I knew you were. So we need to do something with your brows. Um, my favorite tool, this is the Brow Tamer. It has a spoolie on one end, and it has the most magical brow brush right here and why is this magical because i know you're not going to really be able to tell in the camera but it is so thin you guys so incredibly thin it's angled it's perfect every single woman on this planet needs this tool it is amazing i use it for eyeliner sometimes as well because it's much thinner than an eyeliner brush and i can get really precise under my eyes or even my top lash line so first thing I'm going to do is I am going to brush my brow hairs out to shape them the way I want. And I do have enough hair that I do have to shape them. It's just very patchy and it makes me look older. So we're going to fix that. I use two colors, but this is my main color. It is a very neutral, almost like... It, it's called taupe for the best. <laughs> so I was going to say like a taupe color. It is a taupe color. It looks very light. But because it mixes in with my brow hair, the color works perfectly for me. So how I like to do my brows best. First of all, if you're brand new at doing your brows, here's a couple of rules of thumb. Take a tool down the side of your nose. That's where your brow should start. Go through the middle of your pupil. That's where your art should be. And then on your nose, end of your eye. That's where your um, tail should end. So I have to take mine down a little bit further. But if you're brand new, just follow your natural brow in practice. I am using eyeshadow. I have been using eyeshadow for my brows for, I don't know, maybe three months now. And I'm loving it. It is so much more of a natural look. I know for 100%, we will be coming out with a brow tool, I think by the end of the year. And I'll definitely try it because I'm always looking for new fun ways to do my brows. But I got to tell you, I'm loving shadow. It just makes for a so much more natural looking brow. So for me, the way I have found, I've tried it all different kinds of ways. I line the bottom of my brow first because that is the area that is most thin on my brow. And I follow the natural line that my brow goes, except for you saw I came down a little bit further here because I don't want to have like a super thick start to my brow and then thin. I want to kind of make it symmetrical. But I have naturally a pretty defined arch. So my brow just goes that way. So I line it there. Then I start filling in. I leave just the very front of it open for now. I just take that shadow, run it through my hairs. You guys saw how completely light that shadow was, and it's a great color for me. It matches my hair perfectly, and it complements, at least I think it does. <laughs> it complements them, but it's not so dark that it's the only gosh darn thing you see on my face. All right, this is where it gets a little bit tricky for me and the reason why I use two different colors. So you can see my tail is very thin and I want to thicken that up a little bit so it has a natural progression. So I have to draw this part on for me. Once you practice, follow your natural line. 
once you practice and get a little more comfortable, which I've practiced for a couple years now, two or three. So now I can play around with different shapes and different ways to do my brows. But don't make it complicated when you're first starting. Just make it easy. Okay, so I'm having to draw all of this on. And because I have no hair up here, the color, the camera's not going to pick it up, but the color looks a little bit lighter because it's not mixed in with hair, which is why I use the darker color just on the end of my brow. So again, I'm just going to take that. Then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to turn it like this. And I'm going to do just little dabs here. Little dabs to make it look like I got little teeny hairs that are standing up there. Then I take my spoolie. I brush through that color to make sure it's all nice and blended out. And then I have the shape I want. Then I'm going to go in with my darker color. So you can already see. Hello, facelift. Hello, lifting my face up. I mean, it's a humongous difference. All with eyeshadow. Who would have thought? I started off doing my brows with eyeshadow, except for I was not using the correct tool. I was using a big, fluffy eyeshadow brush. That doesn't work, just so you know. <laughs> this tool has been a lifesaver, and now I am back to eyeshadow again. I mean, I'm sure there is, I had somebody tell me the other day that, see, it's not horrible. It just darkens up the end. Your brow has a natural fade typically anyways. I had somebody tell me the other day, <clears throat> she's so sweet. And she goes, I can't even tell that you fill your brows in. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, okay. You can pretty much tell I fill my brows in. It does look way more natural with the eyeshadow than it did when I was using the wax pencil. But I'm pretty sure you could still tell I fill them in a little bit. But there you go. Super easy, super quick. Took me way longer than two minutes because I'm talking, stopping, looking. I, I wish I could continue doing my makeup while talking. That would shorten my videos up, but I feel rude. I feel like I need to be looking at you, and I don't want to be rude. So I'm trying to say something, and I'll stop, and I'll look at you. Anyways, I'm totally, I don't even know why I'm rambling about that. I love to ramble. Okay, there we go. We got a brow. Lifts our face up. Frames our face. Changes the entire look of your face. Makes you look polished and finished. Makes you look younger. Frames your eyes, changes the shape of your eyes. It's just a humongous difference. So if you're not filling your brows in, I encourage you to try it. It takes a little bit of practice. Brows can be tricky, I'm not going to lie. But just follow your natural hairline. Start off with a very neutral eyeshadow. You need to use the correct tool. Do not do what I did, like using the fluffy brush. Yes, no solid brows. <laughs> I did solid brows for a long time because I didn't know. But it does make a difference if you can fade them a little bit. It does make them look a little bit more natural. But that's what I'm saying. Like, start off slow. Just practice. Put a little bit of color on your brow. I had a friend tell me the other day who is one of my natural. I have two beautiful, natural blonde friends. I'm talking natural blonde, like the color I would die to have in my hair. And I had her tell me that she buys a... Um, brown mascara you guys a brown mascara she has plenty of brow hair but you can't see it because she's blonde so she buys a brown mascara from the drugstore and runs the color through her brow so she can see her brow and everybody can see her brow so just practice start off slow then you can move on to techniques like a little bit of fading or 
making an arch if you don't have an arch or if you do have an arch and you don't like it rounding your brow there's so many different things you can do with brows the only thing I caution you on is just don't make them too dark for your face so that that is all anybody sees all right you guys that's what I got for you tonight. If you have questions about brows, I'm pretty much just going to say I'm a brow expert because I love brows. I'm obsessed with brows. I'm your girl for brows, okay? I'm your girl. Message me. I'll help you with your brows. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the comments. I will go back afterwards. I know Sometimes I just can't pay attention to them because I'll lose my train of thought and the video will go on and on and on forever. <laughs> but I will go back. All right, you guys have a fabulous evening and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye.